Hi guys. Hi right, Nicole. So quite late today. Okay. It's Mother's Day. I had a lot going on. <laughs> I had to get my lasagna dinner together. So um, you know, but I'm here in the flesh, no doubt. Um, so I just wanted to touch base with everybody, let you guys know that um it's all love. It's all love. Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out here. A special Happy Mother's Day to my baby girl, Morgan Michelle. Uh, this is her first Mother's Day, and um, I'm so very proud of her and um, the woman she has become. Very honored to be her mama. You know, the best gift as a mother is to see your babies uh, become the best parent to your grandbabies. Uh, that's the best gift she can give me. She doesn't have to give me anything physically. Just continue to be the best mother she can be to my grandson. And happy Mother's Day to you. Well, thanks, Mookie. I appreciate that, love. Um, but I just wanted to um, come in anyway. You know, I make my promise to be here. Uh, like I said, I'm late, but hey, I'm here, right? So um, if you have not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, please go over there after this uh, live today. Uh, the YouTube channel is called Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. Go over there and subscribe. That would be a great Mother's Day gift for me. I would greatly, greatly appreciate you subscribing to my channel. I am working very hard on my YouTube channel, so I definitely want everybody to go over there and subscribe for me today. So again, if you want to gift me anything, gift me a subscription to my channel. It's called Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel on YouTube. Okay? So let's get started. <clears throat> Everybody that knows me, I'm Carla Nicole, single mother of two children. I have a beautiful, beautiful daughter that is soon to be 20 next month and a beautiful, handsome uh, son that is now 11. And uh, my spiritual mission is to make sure that I gift everybody the important information about wisdom, the important information about manifestation. How can we manifest, man? It's not easy out here. You know, we desire things, we want things, we seek to have things, and yet um, just desiring it doesn't mean it will come to be. We have to manifest it for it to do that. So um, if you haven't watched last week, I'll bring you up to speed. Um, last week, I talked about my favorite person, one of my favorite icons, which is Ayanla Van Zant. I love her. I think she's a beautiful woman. Outside of physically being beautiful, she is a powerful woman. She's changing lives and inspiring others. And what I found out about her is that, um, unique, is that she took on um, a desire to want to become an attorney after all she had been through and then decided, mm -mm, this isn't for me. I want to do something different. So I wanted to talk about that today. How do you manifest? After you make a life decision, you know, when we're young, how, we, how do we make a life decision and then say, eh, no, I want to make a U-turn. Thanks, Kate. Thank you so much for the Mother's Day shout out. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so very much. Everybody, please go to my YouTube channel to gift me your subscription to my channel, Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. Go over there and subscribe today. So she, like I said, she was... She's a powerful woman. Thanks, Sam. She's a powerful woman. She's out here changing lives. But outside of that, she originally took her life on a path to become an attorney. And I thought, well, oh my God, you decided to be an attorney. You took all the necessary steps to become one. You did all of these things to do that. But yet, you decided after you completed and accomplished that no that's not for me that's not technically my purpose my purpose is to heal people's lives and to go on tv and to do other things and so i wanted to talk about that today because you know we don't really think about how conditioned we are from little to adult how many things and factors that in it, that basically encompass our decisions to make um for our life thanks sam i appreciate it how do we how do we do that how do we decide that 
after we're going and walking through our path of life, that we're going in a certain direction. And then we say, "Mm -mm, this isn't for me. Make that decision. Take all the criticism for that decision and still manifest it anyway. How do we do this? How do we get to that point? First of all, it's a lot of it's a lot of money, it's a lot of time, it's a lot of study, it's a lot of everything that we are putting into our desires that we want to accomplish. So like I said, if you have a major decision, like say for instance, I want to go ahead and become this or become that, you know, a lot of times we walk in our in our pathway and other things can cause us to have a decision to make a U-turn in our life, right? It may not be our own decision, but we may actually find ourselves making a U-turn because of somebody else giving us a different perspective on what we're doing. And we're like, you know what? You're right. I think I need to make the change. I think I need to make a different, I think I need to make a different direction in my life and be okay in it. How do we do that? How do we become okay in making a decision that is going to change our life forever? Because see, U-turns in life, are not turns where you make a U-turn and then you go back and and do it again. No, U-turns mean you you turn and you don't go back. You don't go back to that decision ever again. That means you made a decision, a full-blown decision that you're not going to turn that way. You're going to take your life this way. How do we how do we manifest after that decision? Because first of all, like I said, when you make a life decision where you're saying I don't want to do something anymore, I was going to go into this direction and become this. And then all of a sudden I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. Hey, Derek, thank you, love. I don't want to do that. I want to make a U-turn and be something else. Completely different. How do we manifest anyway? Because a lot of times, like I said, when you do that, people criticize you. You figure, you got to figure. A young one was like, I want to be an attorney. Imagine all the, I mean, the blood, the sweat, the tears she did to become even passing the bar alone do you can you even imagine how much work that was and then she decides no this is not for me and without hesitation she decided to do that and now look at her and see the thing about it is that's a risk that not only is that a risk that's a high risk to take but being okay in your purpose see remember last week i talked about how important it is to be okay in your decision making. Well, this is a major decision. This is like a decision to completely and totally change your complete direction in life and path and say, look, at this point, I'm going to change it. And once I change it, I'm going to be okay in changing it, which means now I'm taking a high risk of losing everything (laughs) and still being strong on your stance to do it anyway. How do we do that? It comes a point when you have to step back out of your life and you have to look at what am I conditioned to do versus what am I desiring to do in my soul? See, a lot of times we don't awaken the gift within, so we don't even see inside of us what is it we desire to really do with our lives. Why in the heck are we here? (laughs) We don't even really think about it because we what? Like I say all the time. We are operating under the role that is primary in our life. What does that mean? Well, look at every phase of your life. Every phase of your life from child, infantry to to now, you have a primary role, right? So for instance, if you are a, a, a child and you're living under your parents, your parents are your primary relationship, which means you have to primarily listen and be guided and, 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 and um, told what to do by those parents. So you are guided according to what they say, how they say it, when they say it, getting it done according to what they say and all of that. That is a role you play as a child. Then as you advance into becoming a a young adult, you have now to what? Be responsible for what? Your college, right? So you have to be under the guise of what is college telling me to do? What courses am I taking? What is it teaching me? to achieve my goal of becoming whatever that whatever that is and nine times out of ten it's a career we're we're focused on we're we're career focused 
and career ambitious ambitious when we are focused young at in our young stage of the game like when we're young so how do we go how do we advance from that where do we go from there well a lot of times we don't even think about it we just roll with whatever we have desired to become and so with that said we have to step back and say, okay, my primary role now is to be a wife, is to be a, a mother, is to be a, 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 a student, whatever your primary role is. It's wonderful. That's great. However, a lot of times when we make a U-turn like this, like what I'm talking about here, where we're manifesting a complete and totally different way of being, a complete and different way of deciding to make a change in what we're going to do, we make that decision because we are now going based upon our needs, our desires, and what we truly want to become. Not because of what someone else told us to become, not because of what we've been trained to become, not because of what we have you know, been designed to become. We decide that, hey, at this point, I want to become this, right? Well, once we do that, here's the thing. In order to stand strong in manifesting what you're wanting to do and become, you have to be honest with yourself and understanding that making this decision can change everything. And not only will it change everything, it can also cost you everything. So when you make a U-turn and decide to make a manifestation of something completely and totally different than your original path or the design path that has already been set for you, then you have to make some serious decisions. The number one decision you have to make is nobody's opinion matters but yours. Again, remember last week I said you have to have accountability partners. Well, that is so important here because when you decide that you're going to make a U-turn, you need to have people there wait, really, really truly waiting and hoping and praying for you and actually making you accountable for this decision. Because remember, nobody else is going to really be affected unless you have kids. Nobody's really going to be affected with this decision but you. So now you have to sit back and say, okay, with this decision I'm making, I'm going to have to harbor and focus on what is it that I need to do to make sure that I can still have an incline of my desires to be met and still be rooted and okay with my decision that I'm making. And then I need to also make sure that when I'm making this decision, I fear nothing. You cannot fear at this point because manifestation can happen, but it has to happen once you are okay with the decision you're making. And then here's the other thing. Once you have your accountability partners, you then have to make sure that you have a support team when it comes to manifesting after a u-turn in your life making a u-turn is not easy to do you're talking about picking up everything that you desire to have or or, or, or accomplish and completely throw that whole thing away not easy <laughs> at all and then not only is it not easy it's tough so here's the thing understand something when you want to manifest something and you're deciding in your soul that that manifestation comes from a whole different space. You can't allow anybody's negativity, anybody's somebody telling you that you're not going to do it. It's not a good idea. You got to shut all that out completely. Because understand something. Not everybody knows your path. True. Not everybody knows your path. And not only that. Not everybody's going to predict your successes. Maybe a degree isn't your level of success. Maybe getting a lot of money isn't your level of success. Maybe having a lot of things isn't your level of success. So therefore, if that's not your level of success, you now have to live your life rooted in what you are so thankful to have and accomplish. Sometimes people want to accomplish and do certain things because they want to do it based upon how much they gain internally, not based upon how much money they make, not based upon how many claps and applauses they get, not based upon how many times they can go to the store and buy stuff. That's not always somebody's currency. Everybody's currency is different. So with that said, 
we have at this point in our life, we have to sit back and look and say, what is it that I need to do to manifest my dreams? Even if your dreams per se is not something that everybody else can understand. Can you imagine you raised a child to be a certain way and all of a sudden this child says, I want to be a monk. A monk. So do you know what a monk has? Very, they are a minimalist extreme to the extreme. <laughs> okay. So imagine you raise a child to have and, and succeed and do this and do that. And they say, oh, I want to be a monk. And they make a U-turn in their life. And you're like, are you kidding me? I have all this in alignment for you. I got you going to college. I got all your money set aside. I got this. I got that for you. And you want to tell me you don't want to do anything but be a monk now? Really? But see, not everybody can understand that. But sometimes we got to sit, sit this one out and say, does this fulfill you? Does this make you happy on the inside? Are you gratified? Yes. As a parent, you know, to my children. If my kids came to me, or say for instance, my son would probably, hey, say Virginia, so sometimes my son, like, I don't know what he's going to become. I don't know what my daughter's going to become. They're still young. So imagine my son, I'm trying to get him to, you know, create and do and da, 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 and make sure you have this. And I know you love cars. So you want it. I could be inspiring him to do certain things. And he comes to me and says, Mom, I want to be a monk. I'd be like, excuse me? You want to be a what? This isn't fulfilling me, Mom. None of this makes me happy. I want to live in the, in the, in the, Caves. I want to walk and feel in and be observant about how I live my life based upon nature. You want to do what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so I'm saying this as an example. We don't know who we're going to become, but sometimes we'll be like, hey, I got all this and all that. I got the house, the cars, this, that, and I can buy what I want to buy and be miserable. Know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that got a lot of stuff. Clothes, cars. They got all kinds of stuff and are miserable. Not because of the things not satisfying them. I'm sure they appreciate it. It just doesn't gratify them. It doesn't keep them whole. It doesn't make them feel fulfilled. And this is why we can't always assume we know somebody. We can't. My dad used to always tell me. You don't know nobody but yourself. And I used to say, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. But now I get it. No, he really is right. Because half the time, we're still learning ourselves. There's stuff that I like now. I don't want to have in a million years thought I was going to like. But you don't know what you're going to be exposed to. How do I know my son won't go out here and meet a monk and be impressed by his, his story? And I've seen monks out here that are passionate, beautiful people. And I'm just like, oh my God, like your, your wisdom is crazy dope. And so how do I know that one of these monks may pull my son in and he does become that? What am I going to do? Be angry? No. Are you inspired to be that? Is that your you turn in your life that you think is going to fulfill you to be the best version of yourself? Well, damn, I, I totally 110% support it, whether or not I get it. It doesn't matter about me. It matters about you because you have to become the best version of yourself. Not for me, for you. Your purpose on the planet is what it is. Yes, I'm a mama. Thanks, Jen. Yes, I'm a mama. Yes. But I am just the vehicle to get you here, son. It's not about me, my daughter. Look, I'm here to get you here. But after that, it's all on you. <laughs> I can expose you to things. I can encourage you about things. I can tell you about things. I can lead my, by example. But as a mama, I cannot be the one to make the decision and, and, and make the complete and total decisions on what you want to do with your life. So therefore, I don't know what my kids are going to become. I don't. I really don't. But at the same time, I'm not feeling like, well, you know, if you're not going to be what I tell you to be, 
then I, I can only love you to the degree to which you're becoming of what I expect and want you to become. Then my love is wrong then. Is it not? See, you turns and are like, we don't even know what's going to happen. Like I said, I can have a full-blown degree. I can be in corporate America. I can have all the cars, all the clothes, all the houses, all the stuff, and be miserable turn around and say, I think I want to be, I don't know, I think I want to be an RN. I think I want to help elderly people. I think I want to help disabilities, help people with disabilities. I think I want to do something like that. That's going to make me more fulfilled. You think that all of a sudden this U-turn in my life is going to destroy me? No, it's going to help me be the best version of me. I know somebody right now that was on the, I mean, on the grips of homelessness. This man ended up finding his love for animals. Not any animals, but animals that are just left or, or mistreated or abused. He got involved with a, an animal shelter. And when I tell you his whole life shifted into becoming a diehard advocate for animals, I'm not kidding. I, this man was a full-blown poet and was doing all kinds of stuff. The next thing I know, he is an advocate for animals. I'm like, where in the world did this come from? He's like, I have a newfound love for animals. You made a big-ass U-turn in your life because you was going down this road to go and be and become a huge poet and all this, and you did a U-turn in the middle of the pathway and direction you were going and decided, no, nope, I want to be an advocate for animals. And I'm gonna work at a I'm gonna work at an animal shelter. And guess what? Every time I see him, he is so fulfilled and gratified. But he manifested it though. He manifested it by saying, I'm okay with changing my direction. Sometimes we gotta do that. It's not always easy. Okay. It's not always easy to change our direction. It's not always easy to say, okay, I want to change my direction. And I think I'm going to do something completely and utterly unbelievable to other people and be okay with that decision. Because some people will just be like, what? Why? Why would you go and do something like that? Why would you just throw away what you got? Because some th sometimes things that we think is great isn't great to everybody. Everybody's threshold is different. So again, we're back to manifesting, right? So if we're going to manifest and we're going to, to decide to make a decision, a hard, if you're on the fence about a decision, I don't know who I'm reaching today, but if you're on the fence about a decision, should I do this or should I do that? I'm going here, I'm getting all this money here, but I'm really wanting to decide to do this because this will make me for, feel more, more fulfilled, then do that. And it may not give you a lot of money, but damn it, do you understand how, it feels on the inside to do what you want to truly do, to be in the in the folds of what you really are here to do. It's a whole nother ball game. I do this every Sunday. At the end of the day, when I when I'm truly doing what I want to do, I don't get a pay a dime for it. But I'm here every Sunday and I love it. I enjoy it. It gives me gratification. I feel like I'm talking to someone that is really receiving it. Even if it's just one person. That's my gratification, right? That is my payment. Some people may be like, oh, that's weird. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. That's not for me. Okay. This is my purpose, though. And sometimes we got to make UEs in life, U turns, change some things, look into ourselves and say, is this what I want to do? Do I really want to go in this direction or is this direction what everybody else told me to do? Or was this the direction everybody encouraged me to do? No, it's based upon what you want to do. This is your life. Nobody's going to be happier than you. True. And facts. So you got to step back to manifest something. And you make a U-turn in your life. And you decide, I want to do this for me. Do it. Give a damn about what other people think. Who cares? Because at the end of the day, when you shut those eyes and go to sleep, and you wake up to your life every day and you wake up and think, I am so thankful I did what I wanted to do. 
There's no payment high enough to pay that. <laughs> you never get paid that value, ever. You got to learn to wake up your eyes and say, look, I am in my life and I am enjoying it. Whether I get a million dollars or, or a penny to it or nothing, or I'm doing it for free, I'm getting the gratification in here. And all my needs are met. Because when you're in your, in your purpose, all your needs are met. It's not about all the extra and surpluses and stuff. That has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with how much you're doing in your purpose. And your purpose can be an abundance of joy you never could have possibly imagined. I'm just telling you. Listen. Do you. People say that all the time, but this is real talk. Do you. If you really believe I'm in a direction based upon what other people think, because if you think about it, just, just off of GP, let's just talk about real raw truths. When you sit back and tell somebody, I want to be an attorney. I want to be a doctor. What's the first thing people say? Oh, that's wonderful. That's great. Oh, my gosh. That's beautiful. Yes. Oh, my God. That, you'll make a ton of money. And blah, blah, blah. And you get all this praise, right? But if you tell somebody, I want to be a monk. What they gonna tell you? They are not gonna understand that. What a monk! <laughs> you don't get paid for that, or you don't. You're not gonna get anything for that. You're not. You know, live in a cave. I mean, oh my gosh! Like that's not. It's not about the money for everybody. Sometimes it's about knowing your purpose and why you're here, because that's a whole nother level of gratification. No dollars can pay that. None. When you wake up in the morning, you're like, oh my God, my life is what I want it to be. Priceless. Priceless. There is no money that can ever gratify you. There is no car more fabulous than that. When you wake up and you are fulfilled and you feel like you're doing God's work and you're feeling like you are in your best version of you, you can't, they can't pay you your value. They can't pay you your work. Just can't. Sorry. So I'm just trying to give y'all some interest and understand that sometimes if you make a U-turn in your life and you really, your gut, your soul, your heart, your mind is in it and you know truly that this is what you need to do, do it. Do it. Don't second guess yourself because I'm telling you now, having things is nice. but but being full-blown in your purpose and waking up every morning to your life of fulfillment, priceless. Trust. Again, share this video. I'm telling you, man. People out here want to manifest stuff. They want to do things. They want to accomplish things. And they half of the time, they don't know why. Because they've been instilled into doing it. My, my dad's a doctor. Or my mom was in the military. Or my my father was a dentist, so I'm doing everything they did. But is that for you or is that for him or her? My mom was a teacher, so I'm a teacher. Okay, that's fine. But is that really what you want to be or is that what you're encouraged to be? You gotta know. You gotta feel in your soul what is it I truly want and need. And once you do that, man, listen, your love of life will change completely and totally. Telling you now, trust me. We're gonna manifest some things on this on this series right here. We're gonna manifest some things. We're gonna do some homework. Again, our homework for this week is this: seek in your soul and think about your life path that you're on, what you're doing right now, what you're doing in your life, where you're going, how you're forming, what you want to do, and all of that. Are you doing it based upon what other people have encouraged or are you doing something that you really want to do? And is it something that's gratifying you or is it just something that's satisfying you? See, we can start off by saying, well, you know, I don't want to quit my job or nothing. Okay. But at the end of the day, if you're not gratified by that job and you're more gratified by what you're wanting to do, then you need to start to invest time money and you which means you might not be able to do some things that you want to do just to be be out here just frivolous 
you may have to sit down and start doing what there's something about me I want to do. There's something about me I want to accomplish. Okay. What is that something? Only you can answer that. And once you decide that, then you say, okay. All right. Now that you know that, write it down. Start taking start taking notes. Start planting that in your in your heart and mind and think about, well, wait a minute. I don't have to just live this life based upon, hey, Shadrick, thanks, love. I don't have to live my life just based upon what someone else has done or, or be influenced by other people. I can shape my life now based upon what I want to do. And it's never too late. You can do it whenever you want because this is your life. You, This is your rodeo. You can ride it like you want to. Matter of fact, with it being your life, you can say, hey, I'm going to do what I want to do, period. And can't nobody stop you, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm out of here, everybody. My lasagna is ready. My dinner is getting ready to get started. I want to tell every mama out here, happy Mother's Day. Thank you, everybody, giving me a lot of shout outs for being a mama. Again, I want to shout out for my baby girl, Morgan Michelle, for being a beautiful mother. And I'm so very proud of her. And like I said, if you want to gift me anything for Mother's Day, go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe today. All right, Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. Go over there today and subscribe. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Not to mention, share this video. People out here that want to manifest some things and learn about themselves can do so. But they first have to do the homework. So like I said, your homework is to seek inside you. Are you living your life based upon what somebody else told you to be? Or what you truly want to be? Only you can answer that. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. So I really want to see everybody have a beautiful Sunday and a wonderful Mother's Day. All right? I'm out of here. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a good day. Bye.